Barry from Braybrook sent a lovely email in saying, Richo, what's a great way to use up roast beef? Well, Barry, why don't you make one of my famous roast beef bagels? It's a little bit different, but believe me, it is delicious. And the trick about these bagels, when you pull them out of the packet, is that they're stuck together at the bottom. And no, Barry, the machine's not broken. The reason they do this is to stop the bagels from sliding around. Now, all you need to do is take a sharp knife, Barry, cut it through that last little bit, and then, Barry, we need to toast them. Now, you can put them in a regular toaster, but what I like to do, get a nice nonstick pan on, a little bit of butter, there we go, pop it in there, and as the butter melts, it fries and it becomes nice and nutty, and you end up with beautiful toasted bagels. Now, with these bagels here, Barry, I'm gonna show you how to make my mustard. Now, to make the mustard, I've got some English mustard, which is nice and hot, about a tablespoon of that. Some grain mustard, about a tablespoon of that as well, and some Dijon mustard. Let's mix them all together with a little bit of fresh thyme. Cut a few little pieces off the end here like this and then pop it straight into the bowl. All you need to do is mix that around and then if you make plenty of this, you can pop it in the fridge and you've got this mustard for everything. Now to give it some extra flavour, I've got some gherkins that have been chopped up nice and fine. And all I do is add some mayonnaise to that. And when it's mixed with these gherkins, they become even more delicious. Now watch me layer this up. My lovely roast beef, my mustard here, and my caramelised onions. Gherkins with my mayonnaise, my cheese. And now all you need to do, Barry, is pop the lid on. It looks fantastic. Now to hold it all together, because it is a big bagel, what I've got are these little skewers that I poke all the way through and a little gherkin on each one. What that does is holds it together and also looks really nice. So what I'm gonna do is slice it all the way down through the middle here like that. Now that looks like a fantastic bagel and a great way to use roast beef. Barry, I wish you could taste some of this.